put you on the team. Sometimes it's not that you are the wrong person, it's that you're in the wrong place. You see what I mean? So sometimes it's like a bus, and that's the example that Jim Collins gives on Good to Great. That it's about leaders understand, first of all, they understand who, then what. Write that down. This is what great leaders understand. They understand first who, then what. They're not so concerned about the what, they're first concerned about the who. That leaders have the ability to know who should be on the bus rather than where the bus should go and what the bus should be doing. I need to get the right people on the bus. And so the example he gives is that Wells Fargo CEO, I forget the name at the time, he was more concerned about let's just get the right people on the team. Then we'll concern ourselves with the strategy, whereas Bank of America was more interested in just the strategy. And so ultimately, Wells Fargo made the shift from good to great, whereas Bank of America didn't quite do that at that moment. Look at effective coaches. I was just reading something about them negotiating, I guess, something with the draft. And, you know, they do that every year, but this year it was something about they giving up five picks, one team. I think it was the Lakers to get two. But this is the point. The point is they're concerned about the who. Because once we get the who, we can figure out the strategy. If I can get the right people the right on person. my team, mm -hmm. that's what leaders do. They pick who before they pick what. They pick who do I need on my team. That's a part of knowing the essence. And then they know where to place it. I need to get you on the bus first. Then when you're on the bus, I need to get you on the right seat on the bus second. And then once I get you on the right seat of the bus, then we can figure out where the bus is going. A lot of people go the other way. Well, what's the, the direction of this company? It doesn't matter what the, what the direction is if we have the wrong people. Because if we have the right people, we can continuously be flexible and adapt to our situations. But if we don't have the right people, we come up with a million strategies and it's not going to be effective.